Welcome along to another video presentation from Saturn Alliance. Help us continue to make material like this available. If you find this video beneficial, we would ask you to make a donation towards helping us improve what we currently provide. All donations, no matter how small, will ensure the continuation and improvement of our offering. To make a donation, please go to donation.satinalliance.com.au. In this video, we'll look at blocking websites using ISA 2004. ISA 2004 is part of Small Business Server 2003 Premium Edition. Firstly, what we'll do is we will have a look at a workstation and confirm that firstly, we can go to any website we desire. So as you can see, any website is displayed. So the next thing we'll check on our workstation is the fact that we can get to our restricted site, in this case, Facebook. At the, as you can see at the moment, there's no restriction placed on the access to this website. The whole area is available. So let us return to our small business server and run internet security and accelerator server 2004 also known as ISA. Locate the firewall policy on the left hand side and when you do so you'll click on it once with the left mouse button and you will see all the firewall rules in their order of execution from number one at the top all the way down to number 21. All these rules are created automatically by the connect to the internet wizard that you run as part of the installation for Small Business Server. What we need to do now is modify these rules or add an additional rule to prevent access to the restricted websites. So the first thing to do normally is you will select the bottommost rule or second bottommost rule in this case, go up to your firewall policy, right mouse click, go new, select access rule. This will run an access rule wizard so we give the rule that we're creating here a name called restricted website so we know what it is. It's always a good policy to put perhaps your business initials at the beginning of the rule. This will help you more easily distinguish which rules you've created and which rules are automatically created by Small Business Server. So in this case, I put SA at the front to donate Saturn Alliance. I click Next. This is a rule which is going to deny access to the internet. Here I can choose the protocols. I could change this, for example, and I could add, for example, just HTTP or web traffic. But in this case, I basically want to block all traffic to the restricted website. So I'll select all outbound traffic. This Now we have to choose which is the source of the traffic. So if I add here, the source of the traffic is going to be coming from our internal network, our client workstations. So I select networks, then internal, and simply go add close and you'll notice that internal appears here. Select next. Destination. Now at the moment I haven't got a destination so what I go down here is I go down to, to add. I note domain name sets. At the moment there's only two. I select domain name sets and create a new domain name set. In here I will call this block websites and what I'll do is I'll put my list of blocked domains in here. Notice that I put a star in the beginning so it will block any access that ends in that domain. So I might also add myspace.com. When I'm right I go OK. I now see that it appears in my domain name sets. I select block websites, go add to my destination and close and you notice that it appears in here. I then go next. Who do I want to apply this rule to? I want to apply this rule to all users. Again, I could modify a set. 
of users if I so desired. I go next. I finish the rule and you'll now see that the rule is applied where I had my cursor in the firewall rules. So typically what you want to do is with a firewall rule is start it down as low as possible. We may need to adjust this um, for reasons which I'll go over shortly. When we're happy with the rule, made any changes, if you want to edit it, we simply double click on it again and we can go back in and edit it. But for the time being, I'm happy with the rule. When I finish with the rule, I need to apply that setting to my ISA. So I go up here and hit the apply button and that rule will now be applied to my ISA server configuration. Okay, my rule has been successfully applied. I hit OK. As you can see, the rule now exists. So what I need to do now is swap back to my client machine. Once again, if I type in the restricted website, so in this case we'll pick myspace.com, hit enter. What we'll find, interestingly, is that the website's still available to the client machine. This doesn't mean that we've made a mistake, it just means that we need to make an adjustment of our rule so that it applies above a rule that allows access. So if we return back to our server and have a quick look at the rules in more details, we see that access rule number 21 allows all outbound traffic from all protected networks to the external. So any access is going to be allowed by this rule before it's denied by the rule we've created. To overcome this, we simply position our new rule above the rule that allows access. So to do that, I select my rule, I go up here and move the rule up. You can now see that the restriction to deny applies above the allowing. And to apply the rule once again, I simply hit apply and it will apply those changes to my ISA server configuration. My ISA rule has now been applied successfully. I hit the OK button. If I now return to my client machine and let's attempt to go to Facebook, for example, we should see that the page is now denied. If you have a look down the bottom here, the reason for the denial is the ISA server denied the specified URL. So we've effectively blocked the website for user access. But as you can see, most other websites are readily available still. So again, we've successfully applied that rule just to the subset of websites we defined as we wanting blocked. Now what we can also do with ISA is we can actually do a redirection of the website to perhaps another page that is a bit more meaningful for the user. So what we can do here is we can go back into our rule, you'll see under actions there's an option to actually deny but also redirect. So what I can do in here is I can put in a valid URL and what happens is instead of going to the restricted website what it'll do is it'll deny it and then send the request to this website instead. So again, once I have completed the process, I apply the changes to update the ISA configuration. The ISA configuration is once again applied. I return to my workstation and again, attempt to type in the restricted website or any part of that restricted website. Hit enter and you'll see that it redirected automatically to the website that I requested. So in summary, you can use ISA Server 2004, which is part of Small Business Server 2003 Premium, to control access to the internet for your users. The important things to remember are always try and keep your rules as close to the bottom as possible to allow all the standard SBS internet access rules to apply prior. And remember, with rules that deny access, you may need to adjust them above rules which allow access. Thank you for watching this video from Satin Alliance. My name is Robert Crane. If you have any questions, please send me an email at robert at satinalliance.com.au. Thank you.